In my maiden speech as a member for Robertson, I pledge to stand up every single day to champion the concerns, the aspirations and the hopes of people in my electorate. And Mr Deputy Speaker, two years in, and I've been working really hard every day to deliver on this as part of the Coalition's positive growth plan for the Central Coast, including our number one commitment, 600 new jobs for Gosford. In a region with around 30,000 commuters leaving early in the morning to work and returning late home at night to their families, this is vitally important, and we know the flow-on effect that this will have for our region. And I am really proud of the Coalition Government's commitment to these 600 jobs to be located in a purpose-built, A-grade building in Gosford. But it's important, Mr Deputy Speaker, that the purpose-built building not only stands the the test of time in terms of construction and use, as I have no doubt it will, but that the aesthetic design of the building stands the test of time as well. And I'm advised that the site chosen by the ATO for the building that we know as the Commonwealth Centre of Excellence is on less than 30 per cent of the old Gosford public school site and that the school site itself is around 10 per cent of the area that we know as the Gosford Waterfront Precinct. And I'm further advised by the Central Coast Regional Development Corporation that the total land area rezoned as the waterfront precinct is 10 hectares. And so the building to be leased by the ATO when construction is complete is slated to be on just 4 per cent of that land area. Mr Deputy Speaker, the, the community was promised an A-grade centre of excellence, and I have absolutely no doubt it will be. But I have to say that based on the only available image of the new building that has been released so far by the ATO, the current design does not seem appropriate for the site. Unfortunately, the most common description I have heard from people in my community about the design is that it is ugly. And this brings me to why I am raising this matter today because we were told it would be a centre of excellence, I believe the community is saying to me that they expect the aesthetic design to also match that commitment so that it can be something our region can be truly proud of in 10 and 20 years' time. I do recognise, of course, that the building is ultimately a matter for the constructors, the ATO and for council, but I have to agree with my community that what we really need is a top-notch building design for our region. And unfortunately, the style of this building, at least from what we can see based on a single two-sided picture, would seem to be at odds with the design elements of other building projects that are currently being proposed nearby. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'll formally be raising my concerns and my community's concerns with the ATO about the aesthetics of what has been proposed in this, on this building, for this building. I must admit, that I have been somewhat frustrated at the lack of interaction between the ATO and my community regarding the design since the announcement of the site location was made a few weeks ago. And I do respect the process. This tender process was a thorough, open market, competitive tender process run at arm's length to me and the government. But the design of the building, at least from what we have seen so far, simply does not meet community expectations. Mr Deputy Speaker, we need a vibrant, appropriate design that reflects our future as being a, a region of world-class excellence and opportunity and does not reflect perhaps what we have seen in the past. There were high hopes for this project in my community, Mr Deputy Speaker, because of the massive economic benefit it is going to bring. And these 600 jobs to Gosford are not in doubt. But unfortunately, Labor's anti-jobs anti-infrastructure agenda has seen weeks of political stunts that seek to delay these 600 jobs coming to Gosford and fan misconceptions and false claims simply as a smokescreen to cover the fact that Labor has never supported our plan for 600 jobs for Gosford. But as I embark on a month of roundtables listening to residents and businesses in my electorate, I want to hear more from more people in my community because I strongly believe that we can deliver on the concerns, aspirations and hopes of people on the Central Coast. And I strongly believe that by working together, we can one day have it all. 600 jobs, a performing arts centre and a bustling cultural hub, and a city that draws people to the Central Coast for even more growth, jobs and opportunities. 
But first, we must have an appropriately designed building that reflects these aspirations, and I will work with my community for this. We deserve no less. Yeah, yeah.